going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, I got the magic book right here. Okay, the Elliot Book of Romance. We're going to talk about five ways to get a guy to open up emotionally. Now, before I jump into this, I want you to I want you to get the grasp of all of this, okay? I'm going to give you five different things, but the overall theme of it is regrets. And you're gonna see what I mean by this. Um, a guy don't don't make a guy feel like he's gonna regret opening up. Again, when you when I read these five things, you're gonna understand what I mean. But that's the overall gist. That's the theme. That's the underlying tone. The foundation is regrets. Okay. So number one, uh, let's see. Show stability. Don't freak out. And when I say that, I mean what I mean. By, when a guy opens up to a girl. It could be something good, it could be something bad. It could be him opening up and expressing himself to you, or it could be you guys getting in a fight and him telling you what he really thinks and you don't like what he says, uh, this, that, whatever. Show stability. Don't react, don't freak out, don't, 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 I mean, again, you have a baseline. When he's talking to you, you're on that baseline. And when he's saying words, you know, say he's talking like I'm talking right now, you should be like this. Maybe a little bit like that, but you should still, you know, you should. he should say, I like you. And then you're like, woo, woo. And then you start acting like a nut job, okay? And you start acting clingy, changing this, that, and stuff like that. He also shouldn't say something, again, bad that he's going to regret. And then it dives down and you start flipping out. You, you, you unleash your devil horn, you know, on the guy. Just listen to what he has to say. Again, if it's good or bad, if he's open up emotionally, he's probably telling you something uh, that he doesn't tell a lot of people. So you have to be the psychiatrist, the psychologist, and keep that baseline. And don't show, I mean, show emotion, but don't be like, again, just don't don't have spikes, okay? You're not fucking insulin. Just chill. Oh, I like that. You guys can use that. You just chill, okay? The number two thing is don't hold on to his words one of the reasons guys do not say things to women is because if a woman is lacking uh some some confidence some self-esteem she has some insecurities she's trying to fill a void so when a guy says yeah i actually you know what i do like you she's going to hold on to that and she might change who she is as a person she might be like well he says he likes me so i can text him all the time i can talk to him all the time i can do this i can do that or if he says something that you don't like, again, you're going to hold on to his words and bring it up later on. Well, you know, you, you said blah, 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 you know, five five days ago. Or fuck for women. Be like, you said five years ago, you know, that blah, 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 blah. You know, he doesn't want to hear that. So, it's, so he's thinking, again, this is regret. He's thinking, you know what, it was better if I just didn't say anything at all. And sometimes he just keeps his damn mouth closed. Uh, number, number three is don't be critical from the beginning. If he's opening up to you, he's telling you something he probably doesn't tell other women. So if that's the, or just people in general. So you don't want to be critical in the beginning because he, you know, he's going to think about that. He's going to think, I, I, you know, I'm not going to tell her this. She's going to judge me. She's going to try to give me advice. She's going to do this. She's going to do that. She's going to say this. Uh, you know, she's going to judge me. She's going to bring it up again. He doesn't want to hear that. He just kind of wants to open up, tell you what's on his mind or what, you know, if you're pressuring him in a way, I don't mean pressuring him as, you know, you're like, tell me, tell me, tell me. But you're like, hun, open up to me, tell me, I'll, you know, so on and so forth. He, he, he'll he tell you. But make sure you're not the critic. Make sure you're there in this corner instead. And I got some damn, some damn light in my eye now. But make sure you're a critic. Or you're not a critic, but you're in this corner. You're his, you're his, uh, his cut man, okay? Four, show trust pretty self-explanatory but he ain't gonna tell you anything if he doesn't trust you common sense again what he's telling you is can I, can I, can I do something about that? I was gonna ruin this whole damn video you know but whatever we're, we're going with it if he's telling you something hope he probably trusts you don't give him a reason not to trust you by opening up your mouth to your friends your family your dog your your girls stuff that will be the fastest way for him to keep close, not say a damn word to you, and probably dump your ass.
guys are serious with that kind of stuff, okay? Seriously, do not say anything to anyone. Trust is a trust and loyalty are probably the top one of the top traits that guys look for in a woman, okay? So that this is your chance to earn it. Do not ruin it. And number five, finally, give it a lot. Don't give it a do not, sorry, repeat that. Do not give it a lot of attention. If he says, you know what? I, I can't get an erection because I have a lack of uh, self-esteem. I'm this, I'm that. Don't judge him for it. And don't bring up, don't, and don't keep on bringing it up. Don't keep on telling him, hey, are you feeling any better? Or hey, maybe you can fix it by doing this. Or maybe you can fix it by doing that. All you have, to, again, don't keep bringing up, don't give it a lot of attention. It's said, it's done. All you have to say is give him a little, or all you have to do is give him a little reassurance. If he says something like that, just say, hey, listen, I like you a lot. I like what you're packing. I like you for more than that. Don't worry, we'll work on it. Done. And end of deal. Don't bring it up every time you have sex. Don't bring it up every time you're talking. Don't bring it up when you feel like bringing it up. It's done, okay? Just know he, he told you for for informational purposes only. He told you you hold on to that. You do what you got to do with it. Okay. You don't tell other people. You don't make him regret it by telling you. Uh, you just or you don't make him regret telling you. You just go with the information you have and go so or so on and so forth. Okay. Don't please for the love of God don't bring it back up. I hate I, as, that's like me. That's like a girl saying she's fat. And then me saying, "Hey, why you why are you eating that piece of cake? You just said you you told me two weeks ago that you're fat and that you need to lose weight. You know, like why would you do that? Okay, just let it go. So that being said, ladies, I love you. Take care. Open that man up emotionally and peace.